Say hello, Lucy. Oh, very good, very good. Okay, so today I have something that has been so long awaited, like, <sighs> I ordered this in August. You can see the title of the, this video, so I'm just going to get into it. Please like and subscribe for more. So I ordered the Bernadette shoes from American Duchess right when she announced, like the day of, I was like, okay, pre-order, yes. That was in August and they were supposed to get here by December, but obviously things in the world are a bit, you know, chaotic and I understand, like that's totally fine. So now I finally have these shoes and I bought two pairs actually. If you like this video, I can do another video on the other ones. They're not Bernadette's, they're, I think they're the Londoners, so let me know. But here we have the Bernadette's. I've always been interested in the American Duchess shoes ever since I started hearing the Costumers, is that the word? Is it Costumers? I don't <laughs> The Costumers, I suppose. Um, talking about American Duchess as a brand that makes historically accurate shoes and like hand makes them too. Um, but they were very expensive and I was like, oh, I don't know, it's such a big commitment to buy one. But, you know, as soon as I saw one of my faves, Bernadette, had a collaboration with them, like, of course I'm going to buy it. Um, it was actually one of the things I bought when I wanted to make my video, like one of the first video ideas I had was I mean, to wear these. I'm very excited to get into these. They are so cute, so cute. <laughs> it's been a long time coming, hey Lucy? All right, so. The American Duchess box, so cute. Oh, beautiful. Okay. And here we are. They smell beautiful. They feel beautiful. So the way I'm going to do this video is I'm going to wear these for a week and I'll check in with you every day and also show you how I'm going to style these shoes because you know they're pretty unique shoes and um, they might be a bit of a challenge to style. I also think it'd be nice to review like how it is like wearing them in. So I love the style of these shoes. I love this little... <sighs> mm, I love these lines. There's probably a better name for them but they're so cute. I loved all the color options, but I just, I have no blue shoes and I always wear a lot of blue, so. Also, these heels are just the most comfortable style of heels. I wish that more modern brands made heels like this. That's perfection. Now, I don't know much about taking care of leather shoes, so. So they come with replacement heels, which is good, I suppose, if this wears out, you can put on these. I think these are built to last, and I'm not usually a fan of leather shoes but I think that the philosophy behind American Duchess and sort of the sustainability element of buying real leather versus fake I think is quite important so I don't mind buying something that's going to last forever congratulations to Bernadette for these beautiful shoes like she really really picked adorable ones um, so the only like, criticism I have so far of these shoes is that there's no grip. So I went out and purchased, well not went out, I bought on eBay some uh, sticky grip pads to put on here so it's not, you know, completely. So I don't have fall over and, <laughs> fall over and um, hurt myself. So yeah, there's one shoe and we'll get out the other one. Oh, so cute. I love these laces. They're adorable with the ribbons. They just, they look so cute. So cute. All right, um, I guess I'll go try them on. So today I'm going to see the Kimetsu no Yaiba film. I can't remember what the film exactly is called. Something about D 
demon train. So that's why I'm wearing this anime kind of outfit. Um, we'll see how these go with that. Um, but first, I suppose, these sticky things that I bought for, from eBay. Um, I suppose I'll leave like the link in the description to these if you're interested in buying them. But honestly, I feel like any sort of sticky pad for the bottom of shoes would be fine. Um, So I'm hoping, since I'm only going to the cinema today, that it won't be too bad and I won't be bleeding too much from blisters. <laughs> but you know, I'm expecting it to be at least a bit difficult to break in these shoes because, you know, they're new shoes. Um, we'll see how bad the blisters are at the end of the day, I suppose. Okay, <laughs> it's a bit of a tight fit to get it on, but it's on. So it feels like a little bit tight around my heel and around here, but I mean it fits perfectly. Like the shape of this is just actually so perfect for a foot. Like it feels like they've really thought about how a foot is shaped. I don't know if it's common for you, but often modern shoes, I feel like they don't think about, oh, the shape of like a heel is not like that, it's like this. Like it really sort of cups the foot and it feels like there's no just big empty space that's going to rub. But in saying that, probably going to get blisters. I don't want to like disturb how cute this little lace thing is here. <laughs> I also need to get into the shoe, so... We have a dilemma. I do have to do a few things around the house firstly, so hopefully that will give me some time to sort of break into these shoes first. Okay, we're in. I feel like I fucked up all those laces. <laughs> they feel so bad, they looked so cute. That was a bit of a struggle, to be honest. So yeah, it feels a bit you know, tight around the ankle, but I suppose that makes sense because, you know, it's actually fitted very well. Um, the grip is good with this little pad on the end, but I don't know, I feel like it looks kind of cute with the lace detail. So of course the first day that I wear these shoes, it freaking rains! <sighs> that was like the one thing on their care instructions that it said to do, make sure you don't get these wet, like pat them dry, don't blow dry them or something. So I have pat them down and hopefully they're going to be okay, but legit the first night, <laughs> oh it was raining so heavily, oh my god. It hasn't rained in so long, and then the one night I go out, oh, such a good movie though. I recommend if you're a Demon Slayer fan, highly, you'll really enjoy it. But that's beside the point. Let's see the damage that's been done to my shoes and feet. To be honest, throughout the day, it wasn't all that uncomfortable. Like, I didn't feel any pain. I think that's because they are so tight to my foot. You know, there was no, like, rubbing around and moving. Uh, no blisters. That's... Really surprising for a new shoes that I wear, wore all day. I'm very impressed with that because usually I get blisters all over my ankles, but they're fine. And this one is fine too. Um, so yeah, that's that's it for day one. They're a bit wet on the inside. I'm guessing that's because of the rain, but I'm going to let them to dry out and definitely not put a hairdryer on it. I couldn't if I wanted to. Do not own a hairdryer. Hello, so day two, um, this is my outfit, um, I'm going to Dungeons and Dragons today, and here's the shoes with that. Yeah, so I'm super surprised I haven't got any blisters at all from these shoes. 
Like they just fit perfectly and they're not rubbing at all, which is just like a miracle or something. But I've noticed on this shoe, there is a decent amount of wear on the sole. I think maybe if I had the grip part a bit bigger, it would protect it. But on this side, it's not as bad. So I don't know what's up there. But anyway, I'll head out on my day and I'll check back in at the end of it. But honestly, so far, these shoes are going so great. Okay, so it's about 2 a.m. right now. <laughs> the end of the day, officially. Oh, well, the start of the next day, actually. But here we have the shoes. Um, there's a decent amount of wear on the bottom of these, but, you know, that's probably normal. And look, they haven't been rubbing at all. They've been extremely comfortable. I feel like it's almost strange how comfortable these shoes are. Like, usually when you get new shoes, especially leather ones, they're extremely uncomfortable, but these have just been perfect. Like, they just fit me so well. It's bizarre. Honestly, bizarre. <laughs> like, it, it's surreal. But anyway, um, see you tomorrow. So, here's the outfit for today, and I'm actually looking forward to wearing these shoes. They've been so comfortable so far. I mean, I am a little bit concerned about how much they're wearing, but that's probably normal since they are shoes. I'll head out my day, out through my day, and I feel like wearing these shoes, I have to wear some full-length skirts with them. Even though full-length skirts aren't for everyone, I think the next few outfits might feature a few. So I'm at the end of my day, and I went home to my parents' place, so I'm covered in fur from the dog and the cat, but, I also did a lot of walking there, so let's have a look at the shoes and how they're holding up. To be honest, I don't really notice too much of a difference on the bottom here, on the wear, and they're still as comfortable as ever. I don't think I'm going to get blisters because now, you know, it's the third day, they're starting to take the shape of my foot a little bit more, and they're still super comfortable. So. I'm just so impressed with these shoes. I did not expect this. I thought, oh, this whole video, I would just be in pain and just covered in blisters and like not wanting to put them on the next day, but totally fine. And I don't think I've ever had a pair of shoes like this. Um, it's really impressive. So uh, we'll get into day four. Here is today's outfit this wonderful black puffy sleeve top which makes me feel like an Edwardian lady which is perfect for these shoes and this flowy skirt full length of course and I shall put on the shoes despite these shoes technically being heels it doesn't feel like I've been wearing heels for a week usually my my legs would start to hurt honestly they're just so comfortable just so comfortable it does not there's no, there's no way that it's uncomfortable. And it just feels like the more times I wear them, the more they start to adjust to my feet and the more comfortable they become. So this has been a dream and I'm excited to, to uh, try those red ones. I hope they are the same as these ones. <laughs> Please let me know if you would like to see a video about the red ones. Okay, so it's the end of the day, and and I haven't left the house, so not much damage to report today. Okay, here is the last day's outfit, and I'm heading off to uni today, so this will be a massive test of these shoes. But I'm really excited! I'm finally wearing some blue with these blue shoes. Um, yeah, let's get going! So here I am at the end of day five and the end of the week, and again, no issues, very comfortable. Honestly, I have no criticisms to say, apart from the whole no soles things. I did a lot of walking today, and the damage seems to be sort of 
equalizing, if that makes sense. Would I recommend these shoes? Yes. They're extremely comfortable. I didn't get one blister despite wearing them all week. Very impressive. Um, they fit really nicely and, you know, they weren't too small, too big. It's just a bit weird getting them on and off because they are very fitted. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and I might make another video about the London issues. Say goodbye, Lucy. Good board. Good board.